Today I released a report following the external review examining sexual misconduct in the Canadian Armed Forces. Let me be clear, the findings of the report are disturbing. The most alarming finding is the existence of an underlying sexualized culture that if not checked is believed to be conducive to inappropriate behavior including sexual harassment and at its most extreme, sexual assault. Such behavior is completely inconsistent with both our military ethos and the national values that the Canadian Armed Forces exists to uphold and defend. As a leading national institution, all of us have an obligation to create an environment where everyone is treated with respect and dignity, regardless of gender, ethnicity, orientation, or background. More importantly, we cannot remain an effective fighting force if the unwavering trust and cohesion amongst all of us is undermined by the corrosive and damaging conduct of those who see this type of behavior as acceptable. As proud members of the Canadian Armed Forces, we are all driven by a deep commitment to serve in the defense of Canada against increasingly diverse and complex threats from around the world and even within our own country. It is absolutely unacceptable that any of you should have to defend yourselves against other Canadian Armed Forces members. You have to be able to trust your comrades in arms with having your back. Accordingly, I have accepted in principle all 10 of the report's recommendations and have instructed the strategic response team headed by Major General Chris Whitecross and Chief Warrant Officer Helen Wheeler to move quickly to develop the measures and actions required to address this issue. What does this mean for you as a member of the Canadian Armed Forces? First, everyone wearing the uniform must make themselves aware of this issue and its corrosive effect on both our members and our proud institution. Second, I expect the full support and engagement of each and every military member in supporting and implementing the coming changes. Our institution's culture and legacy of personal and professional respect must remain central to all that we stand for. We cannot accept anything less, I will not accept anything less, nor will Canadians allow us to. I am counting on all of you to be part of the solution as we move forward.